Welcome back to Joe's Computer Museum. On the last episode, I introduced you to the Coco 2. Today, we're going to trick it out. Warm up the CRT. It's time for another episode. Normally, I don't make permanent mods since I aim for preservation. But this Coco 2 has already been modified, so I decided, what the heck? First, let's make it pretty. This Coco 2 has heavy yellowing, so let's retro bright it. I'm going to use the cream method. Just take it apart, clean it, try to protect sensitive areas, set up your work area, coat with 40 volume salon cream, put it under UV and heat, lather, rinse and repeat until you reach the desired effect. I stopped before it was completely done. I started to get some blooming and warping and I was lazy, but the results look pretty good. Oh, and don't get the stuff on your skin. It's nasty. One thing that bothers me about the Coco is that there's no power light. We can fix that. We just need a 3mm LED and a 150 ohm resistor, some hot glue, and after a few tries, some well-placed leads. I use DuPont connectors and 24 gauge wire. It allows me to disconnect the light when removing the cover. Just a quick test. Yep, it works. The RF output of the Coco leaves much to be desired. Let's fix that too. Here's a quick dead bug design I threw together from a couple different sources. And here's a quick schematic of that circuit. The output is better than the RF circuit, but the circuit is ugly and output is blurry. It also has inaccurate colors on high resolution modes. I'm not satisfied with this output, so we'll make it even better. Another issue? This Coco has the yellow bar problem. Basically, the color burst generator, called the artifact circuit, stays on too long. This causes the color burst to stray into the active video signal, causing the yellow bar. Common fixes include replacing capacitor C26, replacing the triple five timer, or any of the other timer circuit components. Replacing the capacitor made it better, but I had to replace the triple five timer ultimately. But we still have weird video problems. Since we're having so many problems with video, let's install the Zipster Zones composite board and see if that fixes it. Take out the RF modulator, Install the composite board. And check the output. Woot! It works! But artifact colors are still wrong. Look at that pink. I was hoping the composite board would fix the color issues, but it didn't. After a look through a diagnostics manual, I checked phase A from the 6847. We have no continuity, so I tapped across it. We must have a bad trace pad or via on the board. A quick bodge wire fixes that. That video looks great now. While we're at it, let's install the Coco VGA mod too. Figure out the template, drill some holes, and attach the output header. Next, we put in the adapter, put the machine back together, and see how it looks. Let's compare all the video outputs side by side. We should be done, right? Nah, let's go for some bling. Do a little math. Make a little sketch. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. We did quite a bit to the Coco. I'm loving the new outputs. They give a super crisp video without any noise or color issues. The lighting mod is a nice touch too. It gives the Coco that little extra jazz so folks know we mean business. With all of that done, our Coco is well on its way. But with a busted tape deck and disk drive, how do we get software on it? That's coming up soon. Well, that's all for today's episode. While you're here, check out some of my other videos. And remember, 8 bits are all you need.